I'm just gonna mess around on this for a while. It's a quiet day. So. I think most people are just kind of all being lazy today. <sighs> Genuinely surprised that there wasn't more of a fuss yesterday. As, uh... Uh, I guess it depends where it was played, but the whole Australian football thing came to a close yesterday, so. Usually what happens is, like, depending on who wins, um, city goes mental, so. Hey, Sandy. That's how little I know about it. I don't even know who was playing. <laughs> It's possible that that's why maybe just the teams that made it to the end. Probably not a big deal around here. Alright, out of curiosity, who won? Oh, okay. Hmm. Weird. So it was a team from my state. Ah, oh, no. Can't complain. No, I mean, I, I take so little interest in it that I just- I don't even know how the game's played properly. And I sometimes get asked about it. Not for- not by Australians, but like, in general, on the internet, and I can't explain it. The only thing that I've learnt recently is apparently the field is bigger than most other games, so I don't know. That's not by me learning that. Someone looked it up and commented on it. You know how to play a certain number of sports, but you don't love watching games as much. See, that's the thing. I... Aside from basketball, and, I mean, even even soccer to some extent. Like, I played them in high school, because I had to. But I, I wouldn't be able to tell you the rules, or, like, die on that hill. In terms of watching games, I've watched games as, like, a social thing and have enjoyed it. It's more the social aspect, not... The game itself. But like, I wouldn't be able to tell you who was playing that day, for example. <laughs> the, the times I did go see a couple games of different, various sports, I wouldn't be able to tell you who was playing. Not completely inept to, like, the point where I don't know who's winning, or what's happening, or who, that sort of thing, but, yeah. Apparently I've gone live, thank you Twitch, for letting me know. Like, ten minutes in. Anyway, I might have to get up for like a couple minutes at some point. I might have a delivery coming, so.
Just gotta... I have the door open, so if it's a little echoey, but, well, sounding slightly different, that's why. It's because I have the door open. So you're probably getting, like, reverb from the hallway. It shouldn't be that noticeable. I can definitely feel it just because I'm in the room. When I played soccer in high school, like, just as part of, um... Well... I know Americans call it gym, but we just call it PE, which is physical education. But, um, I got banned from, like, kicking at full strength, because I went to score once and, uh, kicked it so hard that it hit the goalkeeper in the head and they were kind of dazed out for a bit. Yeah, I was- I was not- they were like, don't kick it at full force. I'm like, alright, fine. Because it wasn't exactly competitive, it's just like... Honestly, just busy, busy time. Just... A time buffer. No, I've always been just a nerd. <laughs> I don't. Alright, it's. I don't like. I guess it's hard for me to say because I don't really remember the sentiment I felt in school about sports. I kind of had to do them, so. But I mean, outside of that, like I, I didn't like playing anything. Like my time was spent on, um, like learning about computers, messing around with like. Photoshop and Illustrator, just... And then, I guess the only physical thing I used to do was just I had a bike and I used to ride it quite a bit. That and, yeah, like, sometimes my uncles would come and hang out. And, uh, we'd just go walking everywhere. Ah, shit. Oh, this is a mess. I might not qualify. Nah. Fuck. Well, I was trying to go around and catch it and be clever, but it didn't work. <laughs> I got semi-distracted. What is that? <laughs> huh? What? It's... Okay. Fair enough. Oh. You know what? Hold on. I might kill for the other stuff. I'm not gonna do squads. This outfit is what I spent my hard-earned winnings on back in the day. I have yet to see this appear in the shop again, so it's uh it's a one of a kind. <laughs> Hi Lolo.
How's it going, man? Cosmic Highway. I gotta keep drinking my coffee, otherwise it's gonna get lukewarm, and that's not good. Going alright, you just destroyed some tacos. You got the tacos. I'm happy for you. What kind did you have? Also, if you feel like, uh, joining the squad, let me know. The shitty American kind. <laughs> I mean, as long as it does the job, like I'm... The only time I'll say something is like if... Let's say, you know, you have... The option of getting traditional stuff. Pretty much like in the immediate vicinity of crappy ones. That's the only time I'll say something, because then you're actively making a choice. But if it's kind of like, convenience, you just want them, and you want it over and done with, then there's nothing wrong with that. But, I, I, I don't know, I personally can't do it, just because I hear my mom kind of just going, I can make you, I can make you better stuff, like, you're eating cardboard. And my dad just doesn't want, like, uh, minced beef. For him, it has to be steak. Or, like, just, you know, meat that isn't minced, I guess. That's the best way to put it. It has to be good meat. I'll jump into, uh... Hold up. The correct channel. I mean, not that it matters right now. Okay. Swapped. It was too late for good tacos. Ah, that's alright. I mean, they do the job, it's fine. Jeez, I barely just made that.
Oh hey, I saw that you jumped in as well. Let me know if you can hear me in Discord, because I don't know if the audio writing is correct. Sometimes it resets itself. You can't hear me. For fuck's sake, what? Test, 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 test. It's weird because I'm looking at it and it should be okay. Alright, hang on. We'll debug in a minute. It's like a click. Ah! Motherfucker. I clicked the button. Alright, well now I'm gonna test it. Let's see. Uh, listen, video. It's on the correct track. Yeah, I mean, I can hear... If you can hear the music... Okay, I went into Discord audio test, so it should be working. Maybe double check your output is on the right one. Yeah, it's definitely got sound coming out. If you can't hear music, then there's something wrong. Quite. Like, clearly. Send the invite anyway. Oh, you're not even in game yet. No music either. Check your sound settings. In Discord. Because I want to do an audio test, and it is definitely working. Hundred percent. Look at the store in the meantime. My, uh, other currency is running low. Oh, they have Tron ones. That's kind of neat. I should select the other one so I don't forget. There we go. That's on my side. It was on your side? Alright. Cool. Discord likes to switch things around sometimes against yeah, my it ha will. It happens to me as well. Dude, I've just been cursed the past week with technical issues. Fucking hell. Right. The PS3 debacle. Then yesterday when I went to turn on to try and play like a Super Nintendo game. Just graphical glitches, and it's because the cartridges were like a little dirty. But I didn't have any um, Q-tips to clean it with, so that's what I did today. I went out and got some Q-tips just to clean the cartridges, got a coffee and a sandwich and came back. Ah, uh, the classic uh, blow didn't work? Well, I try not to do that where possible. Because it's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's no, bad. you're not supposed to. Yeah, yeah it's, it's bad. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Postpone the plans. It'll, it can wait. And even better, like OBS, the new version 28 they've released, it's just been nothing but a fucking nightmare to me. Literally every single update they've released for that thing has like completely fucked my setup somehow. Fucking yikes. The first release kept re resetting my capture card's contrast, so it set it up all the way to the highest value. So you would get like this really, it looked like the capture card was dead. So then, pretty much the next day, 
they undid that, and then they fixed it with something else. Then it completely reset my audio routings, that update. So two days ago, they release an update. I install it. And unbeknownst to me, the last two days, um, my recordings were literally green. Oh, yeah. Like, I saw your post on that. Yeah. Like, and I went to, um, their website. I downloaded the previous version and surprise, surprise, everything's back to normal. So I'm just straight up not updating OBS again. I think just fuck them <laughs> three times in a <laughs> row. I'm sorry. Like that never used to happen. Oh, can you send me a... Uh... Yeah, yeah. I just shot you on. Ah, <sighs> yeah. It's been annoying. It's just one of those things, like, one thing goes wrong and then a bunch of stuff follows. When it rains, it pours. Pretty much. Man, yesterday at work I had a complete... I f think I may have actually had a stroke for a second, this fucking... <laughs> Aneurysm out of stupidity. Yeah, one of the one of the waiters. Uh, so I was like running the meat station, right? So mm -hmm. I'm basically like expoing meat, making sure all the combos are put together correctly, and like the tables are getting what they ordered, right? Yeah, like putting tickets together. And so, like ninety percent of the meat I get is raw, right? So it goes to the table, and they cook it at the table. And I had like literally raw pieces of steak in front of me, like two raw ribeyes mm -hmm. on a plate. And one of the waiters looks at the steak and looks at me and just goes, what is that? And I'm like, "That's those are ribeyes. And he's like, uh, what do I do with those? I'm like, what do you do? What do you mean? They're like, Take do them. I need to cook those? I'm like, they're raw steaks. Oh, my God. So he's like, okay, but do I need to cook them? I, f I literally didn't answer him for like a solid 10 seconds. I was like, just, you know, instant headache was a dude what does mine say moment seriously i was just like baffled i was like is this kid is this dude joking is he fucking with me right now do i need to cook it i i don't know i would have been like do you want if, if do you want to eat it like this like is this <laughs> yeah, okay is this okay like... to eat like is this okay like would you take a bite out of this right now uh... yeah man i just like looked at the butcher and i was like dude did you hear what this man just asked me Oh my god, it just reminds me of, um, one time me and my brother went to KFC, and so it was mm -hmm. a thing where, um, one of us wanted, like, ten nuggets, and the other one wanted six. All so right. we go to, we go to the cashier, like, uh, can we have sixteen nuggets, please? And she's like, oh, we only sell them in lots of six, ten, and twenty. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. It's like, yeah, just uh, put through um, ten nuggets and six nuggets. Then she was like, silent for a sec. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's definitely, like, moments where you, you forget and logic is, escapes you, but... Man. Yeah, man. It's one of those times where it's like, I f I try to be nice. Yeah. You know, I really do. I feel like I give a fair attempt not to be a dickhead. But mm. it's just like, how do I even respond to that? Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, that was my day yesterday. <laughs> yeah. On the good side of things, I know exactly what needs to go together now, so my job, I like, know how to do my job and do it well now, so that's a good feeling. So the dust is settled and things look like they're going to be stable? Yeah, there's still a little bit of jankiness, but it's to be expected with a brand okay. new place and brand new people. Yeah. But, uh, 
yeah, since since grand opening, everything has improved quite a bit. So it's good. Yeah, man. There's some things on that menu that I've never tried before. Oh. Like, have you ever had beef belly? Uh, no. Can't say I have. But yeah, I would imagine have, like, a it's... beef belly dish that is, like, basically beef bacon, which I, I did was not gonna... know was Oh, a thing. no, I've, I've had beef bacon. I've had that, but, like, I was thinking it was more like pork belly, but, like, the beef equivalent of it. Which is probably, like, uh, yeah, a bit I guess leaner. it's just, like, yeah. It's, like, sliced into bacon strips, essentially. Oh, it's... so, yeah, it's, beef. yeah, there's, um... Because there's places that, uh, there's a burger place that's in the suburb where the majority of people that live there are Muslim, so they don't do pork. Right. So the burgers have, uh, this beef bacon on it instead. It's not yeah, bad. That makes sense. Yeah, it's not bad. Looks for the version of it we have looks pretty good. It's like mar it's got a marinade and everything. I definitely want to try that at some point. Oh, uh, right on. And yeah, beef tartar. I think we talked about already. I still haven't tried that. Definitely yeah, at some point I'll get the courage to do it. it. Has I think it has to be at one of those restaurants that I trust and not like. Oh yeah, for sure. Random, you know. Most definitely. I know all of our chefs are pretty solid, so yeah. I think I, I think I can send it on this one. Good. Yeah, it's like trust on a whole nother level. Like I know and talk to the chefs every day. So. Yeah, that helps. I trust them to not make me sick. No, for me it'd be a place that is, like, known for meat, basically. Not, like, a place that, for example, does noodles, but then they also have this. Right. I think I'd be going the specialty route. Unless it's highly recommended by someone else who's had it. That's the other way. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'd get shut down immediately if we got someone sick for that, because our whole thing yeah, is Yeah, it's a dangerous game. My Uber driver the other day was, just would not, like, he's never heard of raw beef oh, in really? any context, so he was just, I was trying to explain to him, like, the process and all that, but truth I is, mean, I don't really know exactly what you do to make it okay in that case. Uh, to me, I, I think it would be the same as what they do with ceviche, like, to some extent, like, it's probably not, like, cooked with heat, but maybe bacteria is killed because of, uh, like, I guess lemon juice or something, I don't know. Like, I would imagine there's yeah. some form of citrus in it. For sure, poke as well, it's something like that. Yeah. Oh, man, it feels like a minute since we've had this one. Right? This one's good, I like this one. Oh man, the the whole Twitch drama thing just keeps getting better and better by the day. Yeah, what's the newest update? So, after that blog post was made, internally, the uh, chief of content resigned. And then... Oh boy. Bloomberg put out an article, basically, about it, and supposedly, um, a lot of... Anonymous staff members have said, like, the dude that did the blog post, pretty much the chief of Twitch, is out of touch mm -hmm. with content creators, and has, like, been told that. And just is worried- is more worried about, um, profits than actually caring about content creators. And he's been told multiple times, so... Yeah. Yikes. It's been a good news cycle for Twi uh, YouTube. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. I got it. I mean, it was just three of us. We lost a squad member. Yeah. Bit of a disadvantage, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, if there's, like, a, an exodus of big names, that, that dude's head's gonna roll, like... <laughs> 
I mean, he's going to lose his job, not like l- literally. <laughs> he's just going to get capped. That, that, well, that's what they say when like the upper. Uh. When like people in executive positions like fuck up, they just say their head will roll. Oh, for sure. And shareholders will want them out, basically. Yeah, I mean that's some that's some big money he's fucking with. Yeah. It's just the the way it was written was just I, I think the bigger thing. It was a yeah. little patronizing the tone. Yeah, trying to make like just basically yeah, like expecting praise. For terrible decisions. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I gotta get down to like watch some YouTube streams and see how they go. Small ones, not big ones. Most people I've asked about it in the past couple of days, like they're pretty content on me trying it. And they'd still watch, so. Well, that's good. Yeah. There's a few logistics to figure out, but in general, it's fine. Fuck this place. <laughs> Do you like Tech Nine? Fucking love Tech Nine. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's great. Did you see that song he came out with that had the rock on it? I don't think I've seen that, no. Oh, that was pretty great. Just check it out. Yeah, me and my friends used to just blast his, uh... Less than PG songs, quite loud. <laughs> you know, like Sex Out South. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven Words, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude makes so much albums. Yeah, man. I think his lyricism is definitely unmatched. Yeah. He's also one of those guys that just has, like, a style that is very, like, instantly recognizable. Yeah, exactly. And he sounds more or less how he does. There's not much altering to his voice. Oh, yeah. I really like that song, uh, Rain. Yeah, samples Cowboy. But his daughter Bebop. rapping on that, too, it's pretty cute. Yeah. people struggle so much on this one. Yeah, again, this is one of the ones I find a lot easier than the other Yeah, stuff. I mean, the beams people are the only struggle. thing that sometimes it'll, it'll do it. <laughs> this guy here, oh, oh no. I don't think he's gonna make it. Hey. <laughs> I think this is the only ones that I don't like is the ones that involve grabbing, just because lag sometimes doesn't help. Yeah. I feel like I get grabbed from a long distance, but then I can't do the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so 
sorry. Did you see the name of the person on our team that has the, uh, the thing? No. I'm, Dra I'm Drake's mom. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah, uh... oh, shit. I got pincered. Close. Oh no. No! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> I stayed safe most of that game just by standing somewhere in a corner. <laughs> the valid tactic. Yep. If I don't move, they can't see me. Hmm, that's weird. The bot didn't announce live again. Don't tell me it's broken. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ugh. We had a break randomly once before. I'll just post it again. Anyway. Nearly got done by that. Took out um, a lot of people. Sorry, got punted, yeah. We have to rotate the camera. Fucking banana. Oh no! Yeah, the banana's being a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, did you ever have a cartoon called Banana Man? No. I think that might have been just a British thing, but it's like. Banana superhero, pretty much a dude that sort of transformed into a banana person. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of that in my entire life. That was probably a British thing. Which is why we got it. Very old, like it would have I think it would have been like eighty early eighties cartoon, but then they re aired it. Just watch out for the banana. A little yeah. bit of an asshole. Hey, 
Yeah, look at that. We both made it. Nice. I feel like that hardly ever happens. Yeah, nineteen eighty three to nineteen eighty six. It's called Banana Man. Like, just one word. Oh my, that is not <laughs> what <laughs> I, I know, had right? in my head. <laughs> I know, right? It's pretty funny. It's bananas. B a n a n a s. I forgot what cartoon it was, but like. They said, I don't know what a hollaback girl is. All I know is I want her dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Family Guy. It might have been, yeah. That's what I was thinking originally. Oh. Oh shit. Fucked up. Ba Balak. I'm just trying to stay in my own zone. Oh, it's a little bit of a liability to try and aim and throw. No, yeah, that's what happened to me. It's too focused on trying to take someone out. I'm just paying attention to the banana, because they were the one acting like a dick, so... I'm trying to keep in my own zone. Almost feel like just doing mutually assured destruction for them. Oh fuck, I'm in a bad spot here. Oh, fuck. oh. damn it. That would have been that was like down to the wire there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking banana. Yeah. Oh, he won as well. Yeah. Wanker. <laughs> that one just comes down to luck in terms of positioning. Did you get the spectator glitch thing? No, it's just all the skipping through all the rewards. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> and I might need to make myself some coffee too. Shit. I mean, feel free to. Yeah, maybe after this round. I Slept had... in today. I don't know why I'm so tired. Uh, it has a double effect. Like, sometimes you sleep in too much and then you're just lazy for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah, that's definitely true. I haven't seen the drawing the one in a while. Yeah, I kind of miss it. The place I used to live uh, back in Maui, 
when I was living with my grandma. It was literally like this little cabin in the woods, like way up country. It was just a tiny little room, right? Mm. So I just like laid the floor with a giant cushion and a bunch of blankets and pillows because it was cold as shit. <laughs> and some of the comas I witnessed my friends have in that room were just incredible. Like, I've seen some of my friends sleep up upwards of, like, 16 hours in there. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, that's way too much. Well, you know, it was just, like, the perfect combination of, like, fluffy shit everywhere and coldness. So you just wrap yourself in a burrito and you just... I don't know. It's just a perfect recipe for coma. The only time I've been in bed for that amount of time is I got an infection in my leg once and it was just... I had to be in bed, like, just anywhere outside it, and I just couldn't function. Oh, man. Yeah, it was not, it no! Was not I got time. punched! Yeah, I collided with someone. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is, like, the sickest you've ever been? Like, have you ever been bedridden? I think that, definitely. Really? Yeah, I mean... It was three days where, like, if I got out of bed, I was dizzy and oh, couldn't yeah, move. That sucks. The leg, and then after that, like two weeks, where if I put any um, weight on the leg that got infected, it, it, it hurt. So I was using a cane. Damn! Yeah, that blows. Yeah. Um, I guess a close second. I don't really remember it, but I burnt my leg. With boiling water. Oh. Yeah. I don't- I, I don't remember it, but... Yeah, it was like, just... Being cheeky with my right brother. Now. And it resulted with like a- Oh, I'm backtracking, fuck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Damn it. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Yeah, like a pot of boiling water fell on my leg. Oh, man. Sometimes the camera just doesn't snap to the direction you're supposed to be going. Yeah, it literally turns you around sometimes. For yeah, some yeah, I got disoriented and I was telling a story, so... <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. I'm getting a drink out of the fridge while you do that. I... Oh, I want to be first. They were handing out, like, these samples of this drink when I went to get the, uh, Q-tips. It's like... What is it? It says black currant sparkling water with caffeine. Ooh, sounds pleasant. It, it's no, uh, no sugar or anything, so... I've got those, like... You know, those little, like, packets you can, like, mix into water? Yeah. Yeah, I've got, like, a propel version of that. It just makes it a propel. Uh -uh. Also, no sugar. I'm trying to control that shit. Yeah, same. Too much soda and shit. Well, an easy way to wean off it is just, instead of soda, get sparkling water. Then that gives you the same biz. Yeah. But it's just water. I'm usually pretty good about it, but lately I've been pretty bad because it's just like one of those things where like in the middle of the ship I can just infinite soda. Mm. I'm trying to buy for water instead lately. At work anyways. Yeah. Probably a good call. <gasps> what about on oh, the topic of injuries, what what's the worst you've injured yourself? Ooh, in terms of injuries... Oh, actually, Probably, like, there's... breaking my toe. Oh, jeez. That was not been feel good. Or sick. It's sick and injury, I guess. Like, it's similar. Yeah, for sick, it's definitely when I got, um... COVID? No, COVID was bad, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. 
uh, what's it called? Back in high school, I got pneumonia and literally oh, almost fuck. died. Oh, fuck. Jeez. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like... I mean, it was going to be bad no matter what, but how bad it got was kind of my fault. Oh, shit. Well, damn. Because you didn't address it right away? Well, yeah, because I was just being like... Yeah. Uh, I was being kind of stubborn, and I was just like, nah, it's just the flu. Because at first, it just feels like the flu. Yeah. Nah, you'd be surprised but, how quick that ramps up. Oh, yeah. It ended up with me, like... I literally couldn't eat or drink anything because I was just non-stop coughing too much. Jeez. And my throat just got ripped to shreds. And, like, I was in so much pain that I literally couldn't get out of bed. Like, just aches and... You know, of course, coughing my lungs out did not help that at all. Yeah. So, like, when I got the infection in my leg, it's it felt like I just had a, a fever to begin with. And I remember, like... The very next day, I got out of bed, and I just, just something didn't feel right. Like, I just felt dizzy, and I kind of stumbled yeah. my way out of bed, and then went past the kitchen, and my mom was making something, and, you know, jokingly, she's like, oh, stop being a baby, you just got a cold. And laughed it off. And then when she saw me nearly fall over, that, that, that like, joking tone immediately shifted to, like, yeah. concern. And um, <laughs> yeah. the GP was like, had I waited another day, I would have been hospitalized. Oh yeah, so, see that's like, what happened to me with uh with um Fuck why can't why did I lose it? Pneumonia. With pneumonia. Yeah, yeah. Like by yeah. the time I finally went in I like by the time I went in I just had to go to the emergency room already. Dude, infections and the and stuff like pneumonia, like it's no fucking joke. It's it progresses really rapidly. Oh yeah. No, I was, I'm lucky I was young, if nothing else, because I just that definitely would have taken me out if I hadn't gone in when I did. Yeah, like the yeah, yeah. the spot in my lung was that, like the man. size of a coin. Ah, uh. it was pretty bad. A close second, I got severe laryngitis one time. Oh wow! And by the time I went to emergency for that, I was literally I was like coughing up this like black tar substance that was like oh, mixed with blood. It was super gnarly. Jeez. So I'd love to never not never go through that again. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, like I gotta keep an eye on <laughs> that sort of stuff because the way I got it, because I got, I got eczema, and at the time, like it was, right. it was pretty bad as a teen. So like, apparently through the skin crack, I got infected, which yay, oh. and the, yeah, the uh. The GP was like, yeah, just keep an, keep an eye on this stuff, because when you get older, if you still have it, then you gotta be careful. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. No kidding. So, it's annoying. Man, one time I broke my thumb. And, uh, I was playing soccer at the time. Hmm. Or football, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, uh, you know, basically jumping around between all positions, forward, mid, all that stuff. But today they needed me in the goal. Yeah. So I was playing goalkeep and my thumb was all fucked up. And the coach, this is completely my fault. The coach was like, I know you fucked up your thumb, but are you okay to like do this? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like, it's not going to hit my thumb. And literally the first thing that happened that game was that they launched it into, like, the corner of the goal, and I, like, nothing, you to, you no slap. other part of my hand but my thumb. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the move you would have tried to make. Yeah, you know, the old jump and... Yeah, like, slap, basically. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we didn't qualify, did we? No, oh, I thought Shit. we did. Oh, well. I haven't yeah, broken a bone. Yeah, the was... Oh, you... sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying, I, I haven't... The, the thing I haven't done is broken a bone. That's it. Like, I haven't experienced Oh, really? It. Yeah. I would not recommend. Yeah. I'm my so... toe... When I broke my toe, it was really dumb. Like, we had this <laughs> dog at the time... Yeah. ...that was such a piece of shit. 
Like, oh my god. Literally just every way. time people were walking their dogs on the street, it would just like launch into the street and start barking at them. Uh. So I'm like chasing this dog every day, basically. And, you know, like in Hawaii, we wear slippers a lot, just like rubber slippers. Yeah, yeah. We just wear that shit everywhere. So I just tossed on some rubber slippers and like ran out to catch the dog one day. And I'm like running after the dog. And he like flips a super quick left as I'm right behind him and trips me. <laughs> and my toenail caught the pavement and oh. just like flipped my whole toe on like all the way up onto my foot. Oh, man. Yikes. And just just shattered like my whole toenail almost came off but it was doing that thing where it like didn't come all the way off so it was just like hanging you know oh that's gnarly <laughs> it was like that's easily the gnarliest physical injury i've ever had uh. like that was ass because of course i had to go to school on crutches for like the legs however long that was yeah so it definitely didn't end no, after I have... like the pain started being less the gnarliest thing I've had is like, um, on a in a playground at elementary school. I tripped over and then um, it was I was like running and you know whatever I tripped and when I landed I didn't know this at the time but my knee went into a, a nail that was sticking up. Oh, so I didn't know this. Like I, I you know I fell, got up, didn't feel anything. I was like whatever, just kept going on about um my day and then the bell yeah. goes to go back to class and you know i'm walking back to class and then i kind of feel like as if water's running down my leg oh god and then i lift up my my pants and yeah, it's just blood everywhere um, oh god yeah i mean i had shredded the like the nail went pretty much into where the knee the kneecap was so it's like it just shredded the skin it didn't go like, you know, because the kneecap is just cartilage, right? So it didn't do anything bad. Yeah. It's just, like, that skin layer that's over the kneecap, like, it got shredded really badly. So I had to get a bunch of stitches. I've gotten stitches. Yeah, that's gnarly. Yeah. But just, I don't know, like, I, I guess the pain didn't register right away, but then afterwards, like, man, it hurt. It was one of those things, <laughs> ignorance was bliss, and then... It, uh, yeah. Yeah, I fucking, uh, stepped on a rusty nail one time. Oof. And, of course, it was the rubber slippers letting me down once again. Yeah. Because it just went straight through that shit. And it was, like, really bad, too, because it... Like, the nail was in a board. Uh. So I just stepped down, and it was the same thing. I didn't feel it right away. Yeah. Until I tried to lift my foot up and the whole 2x4 with the nail came up with oh. me. Oh. Jeez, yeah. That was bad. I had to get a tetanus shot and all that shit. I think I had to get a tetanus shot for that. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, most likely. Nah. I think I was like 8 at the time. I can't remember. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember times I've had to get stitches specifically. I have kind of a Harry Potter scar above my eye because I don't remember this at all. But apparently mm. as a child, I just like smashed my head onto a bench at some point and busted up and <laughs> just ran like, into my it. eyebrow. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty common. So apparently I needed stitches for that, but luckily I don't remember that at all. I think the one time I was lucky that I didn't break anything. Um, we used to play with a tennis ball, and then it was, it's kind of like this uh, car shelter, like a carport, I guess. So it was like a, mm -hmm. it was a line of units, and then there was a, a shelter carport thing that went all along to the back for every unit. And so the ball went up there, and um, there was a fence, like, just, you know next to it so i climbed the fence and i tried to sort of hoist myself up couldn't and then i saw a a drain pipe and i was like oh cool i can put my foot there so i put my foot there to kind of brace myself and then the thing just once i put my full weight onto it the thing snapped and i just like fell and bang oh, God. Thought, yeah like 
you know, the pain was definitely there. Like, I sprained it, but I, like, for a sec there, I was like, oh, did I break my leg? Like, nah. Oh, yeah. I mean, even, like, breaks are bad, don't get me wrong, but sprains yeah. and fractures are no joke either. Yeah, yeah. I was just limping around for a few days. It was fine, but that's probably the closest I've gotten to breaking something. Yeah, I, um... Uh... I got a concussion one time. Have you ever done that thing where you, like, slide down a hill on cardboard? <laughs> Can't say I have. <laughs> so there was, uh, like, a perfect hill for that. Yeah. And we used to do it all the time at this play, uh, this park called Rice Park. It just had a perfect hill for it. Um, but one time we did it, and we were, like, a little bit drunk as mm -hmm. well. And I just went down, like, the gnarlier side of the hill because I was just, like, drunk, and I said, fuck it. But, uh, there was a hole in the hill that was, like, perfectly sized for my head. So I just, like, fell off the cardboard and started tumbling, and my head went directly into this fucking hole. <laughs> and I had the whole classic thing where I was, like, really sleepy, and my friends were trying to keep me awake, because, you know, the whole thing where you, yeah, if you concussion. have a concussion, yeah, go yeah, to sleep yeah. is, like, death, essentially. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Get that one. I was a pretty dumb kid overall, now that I think about it. Lots of dumb injuries. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised I didn't break anything. Definitely did some stupid stuff. Yeah, man. Oh, I set up oh. this, like, shitty ramp in our backyard that, like, went off a big root, like a tree root, that I would just, like, launch my bike off of to catch air. I definitely hurt myself on that thing a bunch of times. I just remember a really dumb one I did. Um, in high school, we took a trip to the, the island state here, which is, yeah, it's a separate thing. And it was it was a school trip, so I had a, had some hats, like some baseball hats that my uncle got from America. So I was wearing those throughout the trip the majority of the time. Right. And there was a girl in my class who just, like, at every given moment would try to steal them. Like, I'd be wearing one and she'd take it off my head. Right. So, I remember one night, like, she did that. And I'm like, all right, let it go. And she was wearing it for most of the night. And then, so we were staying in this caravan park. It was, like, at the top of this hill. And during the day, it's it's normal, but at night time, the only part that's lit up is just the top part where they have the officers. Everything else is kind of like you need to carry a lantern. Yeah. So I grab this hat and just leg it pretty much down this hill in pitch black, <laughs> and like there's it's not it's not just like a slope. Like there's things in between. There's like uh posts. There's holes. There's um. I guess, like, wooden parts that kind of make a step. And I'm running down this hill at top speed with her chasing me. Like, not really seeing... Like, I'm just guessing at this point <laughs> what right. what the obstacles are. Did not get injured in the slightest. But that was a moment where, like, easily that could have gone bad. But... Oh, man. Probably my dumbest injury was on that bike, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I, like, la I like launched going really fast. And, like, landed square, like, landed square on both wheels at the same time hard enough to, like, launch me off the seat. So I was still, like, holding on to the handlebars as this was happening. Hmm. But instead of landing back on the seat, I just, like, landed directly on my nuts <laughs> on the fucking... <laughs> on the back wheel and just, like, scraped for a solid, like, couple of feet. That was really bad. <laughs> I just... You know what I just did? I stood still, like, as if I was AFK and someone ran past me and I grabbed them. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy brain. Oh, there they are. I see them. There's one on the lower ground. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. Yeah.
Yeah, that one's a bit of a mixed bag. Oh, got kicked out of the party. Oh, really? Okay, hang on. Yep. Classic. Okay. Oh yeah, weren't you gonna make that coffee? Oh shit, that's right. <laughs> I'll make it after this round. <laughs> All right, I'll remind you. Right. Man, I told you at my new job we have those like head pieces, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I have never dealt with this shit in my life, but man, it is f like some people just scream into that thing, and it's just like <laughs> incomprehensible. Distorts. Yeah, it is not an issue I've ever had to deal with before. <laughs> yeah, one of the 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 floor manager in particular is this really like she's just like a really stern Asian lady. Right. And she's not, like, a mean person or anything. She's just very direct and, like, doesn't, like, mince words, you know? Yeah. So she can come off really mean, but she's also, she's really nice at the end of the day if you actually, like, sit down and talk with her. Yeah, yeah. But she just takes her job very seriously, which is, like, respectable. Like, fine. But she's the one. Every single time she talks into that thing, she's, like, screaming into it. <laughs> and it's like I'm sitting there trying to organize meats onto trays and shit, and it's just like, rah, 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 like in the fucking <laughs> mic. Holy shit! <laughs> I love that you made us sound like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like, man. It's like it's yeah. just like you can't even understand a single word of it. It's like you're pulling what they do, and it's always sunny. Oh yeah. They make a uh, D sound like a bird. <laughs> yeah. And in the flashbacks where they're telling their version of the story, like they make they make her a literal ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean they have the mic too close to their mouth, basically. Yeah. I've told her multiple times too, but she just I don't know. She's a very spicy lady. She can't control it. She just <laughs> gets heated. Just say that you're getting tinnitus and your doctor said that you shouldn't listen to loud stuff. So <laughs> it would be appreciated if yeah. she wouldn't speak at a loud volume for the sake of your hearing. Yeah, she came up to me one time and was like, hey, when I say this and this and this and this and that, and like, you have to listen, you have to do it quickly. I'm like, okay, but the problem is I can't understand a single word you're saying. She's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't do anything to fix the issue, just, oh. Oh. It didn't bother me again. I think you just need to call it out on the spot. Like, can you repeat that? Sorry, your, the mic your microphone is distorting because you're eating your microphone. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's try that one again, but quieter like calm down a little bit and speak clearly like loud does not mean clear like if you're gonna talk that loud you might as well just yell out into the restaurant honestly we'll hear you better when i used to work fast food that was there was a dude that was doing that and um the way that it was resolved like this girl got sick of it one day, and she was just like, Can you not deep throat your microphone, please? It's hurting my ears. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just became, it became a meme at that point. Like, everyone would call them out on it, and they just used that. <clears throat> uh, That's kind of what happened when that dude asked if I had to cook the raw meat. I was just, like, joking around with the butcher the rest of the night. I was like, hey, chef, do I have to cook raw pork? He's like, shut the fuck up, Sean. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I'm sorry, Chef. We just have to, like, come on, man. We have to make light of this shit. Otherwise, it's just gonna, we're gonna go crazy, dude. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you do what you gotta do to make work fun. That's definitely my theory. I just try to make everything a joke, and usually that works out. You can laugh at it, you. you... Okay, mm. well, I died. If you laugh at it, you you uh you gain power over it. Again. Okay, and go. This one is just take your time. And go. I thought I'm good at eating myself with the uh, pillars. No! The alien boy on our squad is not doing so well. Yeah. Just remember the fan at the end. So just wait. You can run back and wait. Oh, I'm the only one there. You're the only one of us that's gonna make it. <laughs> Carry that weight! Carry that weight. <clears throat> this one can be brutal. Yeah, that fan. <laughs> oh, I think they're screwed, yeah. Thanks for the <sighs> carry. Uh, yeah. I only had that map mess me up once, and then that's it. I'm used to it now. Ugh. Ugh. That's how I feel about this one, too. Yeah, it's pretty much if you're on your own... And you can maintain that, you get through it pretty easily, but the moment you're in the pack, it's just... It's a mess. What? I don't understand how some people make a long jump and I don't. Oh god. It's pandemonium. Yeah, alright, I'm through. That was alright. I got to watch everyone just kind of struggle. <laughs> oh no, that was unfortunate. Alright, not bad, one and three. Good odds. A pack of rough riders. <laughs> this fuck is... <laughs> yeah. This all goes hard. Let's see how this one goes. This one has a... Uh, 
track record of wiping out most people. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> I was a little worried there. Ah, oh, we lost a team oh. member. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, you I saw th I saw the trajectory. It, that's nothing to be concerned about. And bouncy room boats. Shit! Oh, what? What was that? <laughs> what? What did it's you do? It's directions. <laughs> Fuck me! I can't believe you just did that. Like you are fine. Just stand still. <laughs> <laughs> I got swiped off by the thing. Oh uh, fuck! That's kind of funny. Okay. It's down to three. Yeah, I'm being careful. I just have to survive, that's it. Like, I'm in no huge rush. Demon Roomba, go away. <laughs> okay. Carrying the squad. <laughs> The victory. <laughs> oh, it's three v four. Fuck. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it doesn't matter for this one. It only matters if it, like, they can gang up, but at this point they can't. <laughs> I hate the ones where like everyone runs and they don't calm down, just do little little hops. 
All right, go make your coffee. Yeah, we are back. I try. Winner, winner, <laughs> carried. I got lucky on just how everyone was positioned. Oh, kicked him out. That's some some great uh, party. <laughs> I guess while he's doing that, I'll take like a small intermission. But this will probably be up on YouTube later, so I'll cut the vod here for now. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just gonna. Go stretch for a minute. 